You're watching Good Day Central Illinois on WYZZ. Hop or fly into the spring season <laughs> with this year's Easter celebrations at the Wildlife Prairie Park. Lead naturalist Brian Brumville is joining us this morning to talk about the upcoming Easter celebrations and other events coming up this season. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now, who do you got here with you today? Um, so today for Easter, we brought in one of our ambassador chickens. Um, so this is Miss Penny. Uh, and I was just telling uh, some of y'all off air, she is a bantam chicken. So um, she is uh, about as big as she's going to get. She's actually about eight oh. years old. Uh, which is pretty old for a chicken. So she's been doing, um, you know, programs for us for field trips and that kind of thing for quite a long time and is very used to her job. Yes, I'm saying and she has a lot to say this morning. Yes, she does. Cooing and looking around very yes, alert. Very chatty, very chatty. It's very soft too. Well, can you tell us about this year's Easter celebrations at the yeah. park? Yeah, um, so for our Easter weekend, um, the whole weekend we have a scavenger hunt going on where you can find um, some painted uh, signs all around the park's property. Um, and when you complete that scavenger hunt, you get a um, wildlife prey park carabiner and then also a chance to win um, a kind of like themed Easter basket. Um, so like a raffle kind of thing. Um, and then we also uh, have our Easter brunch and egg hunt, um, which are on the uh, 31st. Um, and so uh, at 10 a.m. we'll have our brunch that's uh, catered by a childers um, and then uh, the actual Easter egg hunt at 12.30. Um, now, aside from all the events you have going on this month, there's also um, a participate. There, you guys are going to have a membership swap weekend. Yes, I've never heard of that before. So tell me more. Yeah. Um, so in April, um, on the 12th through the 14th, we have our membership swap weekend, where if you have a membership to any of um, Wildlife Prey Park, the Peoria Zoo, um, the Children's Museum, and the Riverfront Museum, um, you get access to all of the other institutions as well. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're uh, you know, a member of any of those, we encourage you to come check out Wildlife Prairie Park and vice versa. If you're a member of the park um, and you haven't been out to any of those uh, places, it's really nice to do. So it's, it's a good deal. It's a good Most deal. Definitely. Yes. Um, and so can you kind of give us just a little bit of a rundown of what weekly events are available at the park? You guys have things going on all year long. Yeah, so um, right now most of our events um, are on Saturdays. And so uh, at, you can start the day with our uh, guided hike at 10 a.m. Um, after that, we have our winter wellness yoga um, that's weekly in the Hespel Deck area, which if you haven't been out to the park, is kind of like where we host weddings and stuff. So it's like a nice, like, scenic venue. Um, and then we have our critters um, and coffee and critters and cookies classes that I've been kind of proselytizing here for, um, of for, for months and months. But uh, <laughs> critters and cookies is aimed towards kids. Um, it's an animal program with an ambassador and then a craft that corresponds. Um, and that happens at 12 o'clock on Saturdays. Um, and then we have our Critters and Coffee series that's geared towards adults. Um, and that's at 2 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, all kinds of stuff happening on Saturdays yes. at the park. <laughs> now, one thing that also really helps Wildlife Prairie Park is donations. So what does that go towards and why is it so important for you guys? Yeah, so um, it's just kind of, if you haven't, uh, you know, if you don't know the history of the park, we are we are not a uh, state or tax-funded organization. We're just a, a 501c nonprofit. And so... Um, a lot of uh, a kind of our organizational and operational costs um, are, are funded by philanthropy and donations. Um, and so we definitely, uh, you know, it goes towards um, caring for all of our animals um, and kind of supporting the work that we do, um, educating, uh, you know, Victoria area about our natural resources. So. Yes. Definitely a good source of, or a good donation opportunity. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, of course. Well, Bryant, it's always a pleasure to have you in. And of course, thanks for bringing Penny along today, too. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. Of course. It's always a pleasure seeing you both. <laughs> and as always, we'll make sure to share all these details up on our website, cfproud.com.